What's up guys, just sitting here in my garage, knowledge, right? Just joking. Uh, crypto markets, right? Right now they are crashing badly and it's not just crypto, it's the entire market as a whole. Today we're gonna be talking about it and also five coins and tokens that I think are extremely undervalued right now. So let's talk about some of the major issues right now that the US economy is facing and how this is gonna affect crypto and then we're gonna get it into the coins and tokens that I think are extremely underrated. And also with those coins and tokens that I'm going to be talking about, I plan to be uploading another video soon just talking specifically about those coins and highlighting them a little bit more so stay tuned for that and if you're interested in more of this content do me a favor by minting me a subscription down below and let's get started so the first thing that I want to talk about is inflation now every single time there has usually been high inflation the federal government's response is to increase interest rates so I want to talk about this article right here the US Federal Reserve will tighten monetary policy at a much faster pace than thought a month ago to tame persistently high inflation non viewed by economists polled by Rudders as the biggest threat to the US economy in the coming year. So this is a big problem, right? Now let's also look at the inflation and also interest rates over time. And you can see here how it's affected the markets. So if we're just looking at past charts here, you can see that the 2008 global financial crisis, there was a higher inflation rate. And then what, what did the Fed do to try to taper that off? They tried to increase interest rates and there was also a massive crash that followed. So, you know, could you say that this is going to happen exactly as the 2008 crash? Because right now you can see that we are in pretty much the same inflation levels as in 2008. And what can you see with the interest rates? It's looking pretty much exactly the same as what happened in 2008. So let's just hope that that doesn't happen. And if it does, then we're gonna get a really good discount on coins and tokens. So um, yeah, now let's keep going with this. So. I also want to take a look at Biden's approval and disapproval and his rating. So you can see here that right now it's looking like he is in a 52% disapproval. Now, why am I talking about this? Well, every single time that there is usually a higher disapproval with the president of the United States, uh, typically that means that there is a inflation issue and an interest rate issue and it needs to get addressed. So I think that if this market continues to crash like it, it might, it could, then people are going to be taking their money out of their investments. And usually crypto is the first one to go. And this is also one of the reasons why crypto has such high volatility. It's because usually it's one of the first things that people are going to take all their cash out and run away. So what does this mean for you and how can you manage your way around this volatile market? Well, there's a couple things that you can do. Well, first of all, you know, if you haven't already sold and you're in the red, of course, this is not financial advice. One of the things you can do is just simply hodl. And if crypto assets continue to drop, then you can just say that they are heavily undervalued, which I believe they are in that territory right now. So what do past market crashes say? Well, usually they were a time of, you know, economic hardships and issues amongst the economy or, you know, a specific country. And what happens? Well, eventually things go back no matter the amount of FUD. So of course, this is not financial advice, but, you know, a couple things that people could be doing is that if you are already in the red, then you could just simply hodl and wait until this goes out. Or if you were already in the positive and you already cashed out, then look at you, you're a goddamn genius at this point. So personally, how I'm looking at this is that there are plenty of coins and tokens that are on sale and that are heavily undervalued. And I wanna talk about those five right now. And like I said, I'm going to go into more detail on those in the future. So stay tuned for that because I plan to make that video very soon. Now, the first one that I'm looking at is CRO, crypto.com. I've made a couple of videos actually starting when CRO and crypto.com, CRO was at 17 cents and I'm happy to say that after I made that video it went up and had that massive rally up to almost a dollar didn't quite hit a dollar but it was almost there now why am I looking at CRO well there is so much utility when it comes to CRO like staking more people who stake CRO and buy more CRO and therefore have it staked and locked for a specific amount of time can have different perks and abilities like the Netflix unlock, the Spotify uh, with the Jade tier or you know airport lounge. There's plenty of other things to use and even cash back. So it's a really, really good uh, system. So recently there was a bit of an issue and it looked like a hack. And what happened was I believe there was a couple of hackers that were able to withdraw you know, a couple million dollars worth of funds, but everyone on the exchange was actually got all of their money back. 
and there wasn't any issues when it came to someone personally. And what actually happened out of this? Well, they actually said that now funds are going to be insured up to a specific amount. So actually there's more security now than ever on crypto.com. And I'm going to continue to remain bullish on it. So the one thing that I wanna talk about with CRO is that it's one of those coins that people are heavily advertised to, right? It's in stadiums, it's in different sports and, and all of that. So a lot of people, their first time coming to crypto is going to be to purchase CRO. Now, with that, people are going to be extremely volatile because a lot of beginners you know, succumb to all of the fear, uncertainty, and doubt, and also the FOMO. So the issue with that is that if there is a crash, it's going to drop pretty hard. So CRO is definitely a coin on my list and I'm planning on dollar cost averaging into it during this dip. And the next coin that I wanna talk about is actually a token and it is the KCS token. Now KCS, KuCoin token, what is the point of it? Why would you have a token of it? What's the utility, right? Well, actually there is quite a couple things and it is pretty interesting. Users who hold more than six KCS tokens, which is actually an ERC-20 token, can get a daily dividend, which comes from 50% of KuCoin's daily trading fee revenue. This is a really big incentive actually for people to hodl KCS. So the total supply of KCS was set to 200 million and there's a planned buyback and a burn until just 100 million KCS remain. So I'm really bullish on this. I think that KCS in the KuCoin exchange is a really good platform. And in fact, I can show you guys this. So here in the description of this video, if you're looking to find an exchange for alts and you want to trade different altcoins, then KuCoin has your answer at over 500 altcoins that you can buy and sell. You can use my link in the description below to get a 10 percent discount on trading fees. It's a big thing. Now, uh, some of you guys have actually been using my link and I hope you guys have been enjoying the platform. So let's go into the next one that I am bullish on and also planning on dollar cost averaging into during this dip is Quant, the Quant coin. So what is Quant? Well, it was launched in 2018, so it's fairly new and it has the goal of connecting blockchains and networks on a global scale without reducing the efficiency and interlopability of the network. It is the first project to solve the interlopability problem through the creation of the first blockchain operating system. And so what makes it unique? Since the introduction of the blockchain blockchain and the distribution ledger technology, innovators have found use cases in almost every industry. However, there have been a problem of seamless interlocability between these projects. Quant was created to be the missing link between the different blockchains. So one of the things that I actually really like about it is the amount of Quant tokens that are in circulation. And actually the max supply of Quant tokens is supposed to be 14 million, only 14 million. And right now there is a circulating supply of 12 million. So if we actually compare this to Bitcoin's market cap, then one quant would be worth $50,000. If it was the same market cap as of a 35,000 Bitcoin right now, then it would be $50,000 or an upside of 464X. And this is actually kind of similar to Aave. Actually, I made a video about that, by the way. And also, if you want to learn more about Matic, check out one of my last videos I made. And also, if you want to earn a 20% APY using a stablecoin lending program, check out that video as well. But this is something kind of similar to Aave where there isn't much of a circulating supply. And because of that, the price can also increase exponentially. And because of this, if Quant had the same market cap as of Ethereum right now, which Ethereum is priced in at what? I believe it's 2,800 right now. Uh, if it had the same, it's 2,500 right now. Wow, that's a sale. Um, if it had the same market cap as of Ethereum right now, it would be $22,000 or an upside of 204X. So really, I think there's a lot of potential with it and I think it's a very interesting project. So it's one to look out for and it's one that I'm going to be dollar cost averaging into here soon. And also I'm planning on making a video about it as well because it's a interesting project. Now let's get on with the next one. So the next one I'm looking at is DOT. Now DOT has been one of my favorite swing trades of all time. And in fact, it actually has this extremely predictable pattern here. Every single time it has one of these crashes, it always goes up. And yeah, I was actually happily dollar cost averaging in this past summer when it was around $10. 
and it was one of my favorite swing trades actually. Polkadot is an open source sharded multi-chain protocol that connects and secures a network of specialized blockchains and facilitates cross-chain transfer of any data or asset types, not just tokens, thereby allowing blockchains to be interlopable with each other. So another big one when it comes to interlopability, and I'm always going to be extremely bullish on DOT. Now, I think at this price point, it is a great price point personally, and I will be dollar cost averaging into DOT. So the next one I wanna talk about is Harmony One. Now, I've made a few videos on Harmony One. I, lo I love Harmony One, and I'm planning on dollar cost averaging into it during this dip as well. A lot of people are always saying, you know, one to one dollar, which is actually possible if you really look into the market cap, it is actually possible. So that might happen one day, and I think with more use cases and more people, investing into one, I think that could happen. Now, Harmony is a layer one, and it is a blockchain platform designed to facilitate the creation of use of decentralized applications or dApps. The network aims to innovate the way decentralized applications work by focusing on random state sharding, which allows creating blocks in seconds. So you can also check out the Harmony One's YouTube channel, which they are very active on, and also the team behind the project seem to be all, you know, extremely well educated and they know exactly what they're doing. So I also think One is extremely undervalued right now. And I've made a few videos on One if you want to check those out as well. And like I said, I plan to make another video talking about each of these and going into more detail on the five undervalued coins and tokens right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And really, I know there's so much uncertainty right now in the market, but all you have to do is remember the fundamentals and that's what's going to get you through every single dip in the future. So anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one.